welcome back to the spiritual journey, fourth week, third year. Today we will be continuing with the flat earth theme and using our divinatory skills to look at some information and to also conclusion. That sounds like fun. Personally, I'm not against true science. Of course. But when it comes to blindly accepting science, like blindly accepting religion, I tread carefully and depend on my own personal relationship with God, the creator, a relationship created with the spirit when I was nine years old. This makes no sense to us. There is a full uncut Admiral Bird interview that aired on the Logins television program on December the 8th, 1954. Flat Earth revealed? Flat, globe, or hollow Earth? Guys, stop. You're giving me too many options. I'm only one man here. There are unexplored lands both in the center of the North Pole and beyond the South Pole, Antarctic. I swore. Excuse me, what did you just say? that have never been seen by the general population of our civilization. However, it's not beyond belief to expect, to expect that both the British Crown and the governments of our, our world uh, to have explored these areas and kept it hidden from us for their own purposes under the guise of, for security reasons. Fucking Christ. Evil bastards. Yes. Perhaps even to stop a gold rush. That would be terrible. You had people getting all the gold and the government not getting the gold. Would it be terribly rude to stop listening to you and go and speak to somebody else? <laughs> In 1957, yes, the Antarctic Treaty was created. Uh, to prevent the normal population exploring Antarctica and um, any independent research. Bullshit alert. Bullshit alert. The government had complete control of the area, which is now protected by a military base, naval ships and the air force. All to protect the area, um, and the penguin from any outside observer. Well, what I'm saying is that there are known knowns and that there are known unknowns, but there's also unknown unknowns. Things we don't know that we don't know. So, at the same time, in 1958, NASA was created by a Nazi German rocket scientist. I know nothing. Nothing. Who left the message on his gravestone everyone to wonder about. Psalm 19.1 The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament show his handiwork. Fantastic. This was a huge waste of my time. 